62 miles an hour shot. Kyle Smith has a knack for getting things done here at the Texas Motorplex, and you get another round win, go to the semifinals over one of the best in Sean Bellamere and the Killer Bees. Yeah, it's an amazing feeling. You know, I told Sean, I said, man, I, I admire you so much, and, and just him as a driver and their entire team are, are top notch. So for our small family team to, to really just be able to compete with them is amazing in that sense. But, uh, you know, lose to him in the All Star finals. We wanted this a little bit more. Uh, but, you know, I know, uh, I know it hurts his, obviously, it finished his national championships hopes. Uh, the Gordon family's great, uh, but for our team in general, uh, just a great feeling to be here at the Motorplex and looking forward to running on Sunday. So, As Kyle Smith alluded to in the interview, with Sean Bellamere going out, it set up an opportunity for Doug Gordon to clinch the 2023 Top Alcohol Funny Car World Championship right here at the Texas Motorplex. And it would be a title defense. It would also be his third world championship in the category. All Doug Gordon needed to do was get past Matt Gill. I will say I'm a bit surprised because the last time I talked to him at St. Louis winning, he said, I'm not sure if I can sew this thing up before Pomona, but you're looking at Doug Gordon, the 2023 yeah. Top Alcohol Funny Car Champion. Yeah, you know, I, I knew that win at St. Louis was huge. You know, last year after the crash, we went to St. Louis and we won that race, and that was a big turning point for us. And then this year winning that race was huge. I got us ahead, and guys, where we need to be. And I, I just knew with Bellamere, they are so, such a great team that – they could pull anything out you know i knew we had it we were in a good spot and i knew that you know what needed to happen um but i don't want to i don't want to talk about it too much because i don't want to you go wrong you know it's a, just phenomenal i mean i'd say we took on the it became beta red you know from uh, the the green lucas oil car the green mb cabinets car and they said green was always bad luck and i don't know since we put this beta red on we've won three world championships and finished second it's uh been pretty phenomenal Certainly has for you and your family. You get to complete the swan song as anybody would going out on top. Last question I got for you though, Gordon, is since you already sewed this thing up, does Maddie get in the ride sooner? Nope. <laughs> nah, I get I get three more races and uh, uh, she wouldn't want she wouldn't want me to not. You know, in uh, Vegas we still have a chance for the regional championship if we can win there in Vegas. Uh, so we're going to enjoy the last three races and uh, just see how it goes. And, you know, but uh, this is what we came for. This is this was the end in, in goal we wanted and uh, we achieved it. Pretty Doug awesome. Gordon, your 2023 Top Alcohol Funny Car champion. For semifinal action in Top Alcohol Funny Car, Christine Foster will face Kyle Smith and Doug Gordon will face Jim Whiteley on Sunday to see who goes to the final round for the Fall Nationals. In top alcohol dragster, Angel Sampe on the mission to well debut has accomplished that. And she has accomplished the mission of earning her first ever round win in top alcohol dragster competition. And she has continued and also makes a berth into the semifinals, defeating Tony Stewart, a championship contender in 2023. The mission keeps rolling on and, well, further than I think they ever imagined. Corey, Mahalik, you and this crew, you've got Angel Sampe going to a semifinal round in Top Alcohol Dragster. Not Pro Stock Motorcycle. How insane is this weekend? She's doing amazing. Uh, this has been an absolute team effort from top to bottom. The whole MBR crew is working their tails off. Angel showed up uh, completely prepared and ready to go. And the whole AB Motorsports team has had our backs since, since we arrived here uh, on Tuesday, uh, all the way through testing and getting her license and everything finished up. It's been a lot of fun, and she's doing an awesome job.
Julie Natus, the national points leader, she also advances to the semifinal round. Kirk Wolf, with a personal best elapsed time of his career, goes on to the semifinal round as well. And Sean Cowie tied the quickest ET in top alcohol dragster with a 5-12 to continue his fall nationals effort. Sam Pei will face Wolf and Cowie will go up against Natus in the semifinals. You can see the action and the final round on Sunday race day here at the Texas Motorplex, the Stampede of Speed, the NHRA Fall Nationals. I'm Lee Kraft with this top alcohol report brought to you by Spell Paving Services. If you are within a 500 mile radius of the Dallas Fort Worth area, Spell Paving for all your paving needs.